All right, time for another Single Lives Matter sermon now that we're getting close to Valentine's Day. I went out to the grocery store today and I noticed um, a section full of Valentine's Day cards, obviously, and it's missing one type of card. There were Valentine's Day cards for your significant other. There were some that were LGBTQ oriented. There were some for your children or your mother. None of them for yourself. And I'm saddened by that. I'm still waiting. Every year around the time of Valentine's Day, I get excited to see if that theme will ever come up. It's been a little bit more acceptable to go out alone on Valentine's Day, that's for sure. I want to point out something. Nobody is ever alone on Valentine's Day. If you're open out and you go out there, you have 8 billion partners, 8 billion of them. And a lot of people don't seem to understand that concept. Go watch my last couple of videos. I talked about, well, first I started with 8 billion, and then I pointed out I actually have 100 billion. And if I keep myself healthy, I'll probably have another 10 billion on the other end of it. Uh, that's another story for another time. I want to point out when I first noticed the disparity uh, between uh, people who are happily single versus otherwise. My second year working on my PhD, I had broken up with my girlfriend and I was happy for the first time in my life I discovered how happy I was being solo sexual. Now I, I broke up with my girlfriend in the summertime and then later that winter around Christmas time I was taking some classes and some of my classmates needed to reschedule exams during the Thanksgiving Christmas holidays because they had significant others some of them had children and I remember thinking to myself how much I would love to schedule homeworks and exams when it suited me for what I wanted to do as a happily single guy at the time I used to love to uh, go to uh, coin collecting shows um, I, I wanted to do some traveling I, I hadn't traveled very much in the years leading up to my PhD program because I had a big fear of flying after 9-11 and I remember thinking how silly it would be to go up to my professors and say uh, can we change the final so I can go to uh, a coin collecting show or can, we, can I take the final after I come home from my uh, trip to uh, forget where I wanted to go at the time I think I, I wanted to go to Japan I used to be fascinated with Japan See, I, I don't think that would have gone too well Right. I'm a professor myself today, and if my students ask, I, now that I've experienced it, I might be accepting of it, but I would find it difficult to um, explain to my dean why I allow the student to do that. So even, even for my, someone like myself, it would be difficult to, to uh, relent to that. And um, you got to remember, this is many years ago before anybody had told me that single lives mattered. So... Uh, I remember thinking how nice it would be if I could do that for other needs that I have, right? My, my priorities in life at the time were not a significant other and children, right? But I had other things that I loved to do, too. Now, when I started my first job, I, I faced a single by his head-on, right? Uh, I, 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 did, I couldn't find any time to take a vacation because, not, especially not only am I happily single, but my choice of vacation is also very different. Uh, my choice of food is also very different. I don't want to mention what, what company I worked at, at the time, but the food culture was very, uh, very intrusive there. I, I would hope they have well, COVID nineteen. We we can't we can't really have a cafeteria uh, at that workplace anymore. Probably, although it might be easing up now. Uh, so everybody, you everybody got to see everybody's dietary orientation. So they got to see that my choice, my vacation orientation was very different than other people as well, right? My colleagues, they mostly love loud, crowded environments. I love to go to the beach in Gdansk Bay, Poland. I love to go to conferences, go to backgammon tournaments. And um, I love to use my brain as opposed to uh, getting high. And I don't think they, these people were getting high, but certainly drinking and loud noises, uh, not for me. And uh, they, they went out with significant others. And so I always had to, to, if there was something that needed to be done at an odd hour or all the extra busy work, I always got the, the short end of the stick there. Now, um, two years ago, uh, three years ago, 
This was before COVID-19. I wanted to go see a lunar eclipse. I was working at a tutoring center at the time. It was a Saturday, if I remember correctly. And uh, I so badly wanted to ask for that Saturday off. I probably could have, but it felt awkward because I had coworkers who had other seemingly more pressing needs. I went out to see the lunar eclipse and I had like three hours to get some sleep between them um, then and when I had to drive back from Ellensburg. Ellensburg has very clear skies. I often go there to view stargazing events. And I got three hours of sleep in my car and I went to the tutoring center and somehow I completed that shift. I thought I had totally bombed it. I was expecting to lose the job after that. I survived. I can't even remember that day. Like the next thing I knew it was six in the evening after the shift had ended, after I had got some more sleep in my in the parking lot of the tutoring center because I couldn't even drive anywhere else. And I thought, did I really go to the go do the tutoring or did I only dream it? It it felt like a hangover massive hangover. Somehow I survived. And uh, see, you would never hear any of my peers juggling childcare with their work in, in that way, right? Nobody would go to work in a daze after taking care of a child care need, right? After taking care of their child who was up all night because of COVID-19 or, or who was dealing with uh, other issues, right? Uh, maybe, maybe they had a teenage child who uh, got in trouble, right, for some reason, and then they stayed up all night to, to take care of it, and, and then they go to work and almost feel like they're in a daydream at the work. But nobody would do that, right? And why is one way acceptable, the other way not? Well, some people might argue that child care is a, a more urgent, uh, uh, time-sensitive matter. I'm not saying they shouldn't do that. I'm saying they should do that, and I should be able to enjoy my life too. 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 That's the key word. Now, last year, uh, I had the same problem with viewing the lunar eclipse. We had the lunar eclipse on the 4th of July in 2020. I always remember that day because it was a Saturday. I went to the park and it was the 4th of July, just like the Chicago song. Right? I kept singing that song while I was out there viewing the lunar eclipse, but I changed the words to describe all the events that were going on. I, I, I got to write them down. I can't remember what I sang. But um, I had the same problem, having to rush. But even though it was working remotely at the time, I felt like I was daydreaming the whole time. Now, I had to, uh, well... At my workplace, we had this policy where we could donate our vacation time. It seems like a good policy, but uh, I, I ended up having to give quite a bunch of my vacation time to a colleague of mine because she had a sister who got COVID-19, and she had to take care of her, her niece, which is good. I, I mean, I don't, I don't mind. I, I like that people get to connect with their family. I, I, I'm all for work-life balance. Um... The problem is that I have needs too, right? I have a family of one that I need to take care of as well. Let's put it that way. So, um, I, 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 uh, it was, at the time it seemed like okay thing because I, I didn't think I would want to uh, travel anyway. You gotta remember July of 2020, how dangerous was traveling at the time. But I wanted to compete in the Computer Olympia, which was held in a different time zone. And so uh, I wanted to take those three days off. And this time I, I, I cave. I didn't have any vacation time, so I marked it as unpaid time off. But in the back of my mind, I'm hoping that I'm hoping that I'm going to get paid anyway, because, you know, it's a COVID-19 situation. We had a rough year. I cross my fingers and I look at my pay stub and I deducted it anyway. I, I mean, yes, they should have, but... At the same time, I, 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 I felt like we could, have, we could have met halfway. I really did. Because I, I have family needs too, right? And when I saw that they had deducted all three days, I, I felt like, what happened to we're all in this together? It's Christmas time. I had helped a family member who was dealing with the worst nightmare in our generation. And I get docked three days. Anyway, so I'm, I'm all for people who want to raise their families. Just don't forget that solosexuals have a family of one to take care of as well. Thanks for watching.